This is from the guys who directed Cyrus. Jeff Who Lives at Home stars Jason Segel, Ed Helms, Susan Sarandon, and Judy Greer. The opening line of this movie is one of my favorite opening lines I've seen in a while. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the film Signs. It was kind of the film that got me interested in directing in general when I was younger. And Jason Segel plays this guy named Jeff, extremely inspired by the movie Signs. He feels that everything happens for a reason, that fate is just intertwined, that he sees signs in real life that will lead him to things. He thinks he sees things everywhere that have some deep meaning that will lead him into a better life. And he follows these dreams of his. He goes outright to do it. Ed Helms plays a guy who's married to Judy Greer. Their marriage is on the rocks, and he's running around trying to figure out if she's having an affair. Susan Sarandon is the mother of these two young brothers. She's at work, and the secret admirer her is sending her IMs all day, and she's trying to figure out who it is. And these three stories intersect in certain ways that have effect on all of their lives. I really enjoyed this movie. This was a very heartfelt comedy. I really felt for the characters of this movie. They seemed real, even though a lot of them were so exaggerated as people, like particularly Jeff, Jason Segel's character, so different and quirky and odd, but I just felt so much for his character. It, it just, it seemed so sweet. I mean, if you could think of one word to describe this movie, it's just such a sweet film. Jason Segel holds this movie together in every way. His performance is so calm and understated, but it works so well for this movie, and I just, I loved him in this film. I thought he was so good. He was quietly hilarious, really. He wasn't like, in your face, look, I'm a funny guy. He was subdued at just the right level. Ed Helms has that really big grin, and it really worked for his character in this movie, because he plays kind of a, you know, a little bit of a douchebag, and, and he, it just, it, he does a really good job of it. He gives a good performance in this movie. Susan Sarandon is also very good, and as the film jumped between various stories, I was able to flow with all of them well, and I, and I felt for each of these characters, and I just, I just really liked the way this film tied together. The movie was really hilarious, it was. There were, there were characters that seemed like they were in real situations, and they had real arguments. I really liked the fact that the script and these actors were able to maintain such realism in some of the more dramatic scenes. Now yes, the directors are known for doing this zoom in thing really fast. They zoom in on a lot of shots, they get all close to your face, and it gets a little overdone at times, it does, and there were times when I was like, okay, it's not necessary to continuously do that over and over again, but after a while you kind of get the feel of it. It does feel a little bit documentary-esque. I really enjoyed this film. Jason Segel was excellent in it. Heartfelt characters I was able to feel for. If you get a chance, check out Jeff Lives at Home. I'm going to give it an A-. And check out my awesome new channel background made by the brilliant artist Tin Salamunic. But check out his website below. That man is a genius of art. Thank you for that awesome background. Until next time, guys, if you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuck my eyes.